when a tsunami devastated parts of Japan's coastline in 2011, killing more than 18,000 people. It also hit the Fukushima nuclear power plant, triggering the most serious nuclear accident since Chernobyl. Parts of the damaged reactors are still highly contaminated with radiation and robotics are playing a crucial part in the cleanup. Toshiba and a team of researchers have now developed a swimming robot, which is being called Little Sunfish, to explore the flooded parts of the nuclear plant. The size of a loaf of bread, the Little Sunfish is equipped for its tough mission with lights, maneuvers with tail propellers and can collect data with two cameras and a dosimeter to measure radiation. The cute little robot hit the waters this week at a test facility near Tokyo, slowly making its maiden journey. The little sunfish then slowly moved through the mock-up of a containment vessel. It is being operated by a team of scientists, a data cable connects the robot at all times with the team, sending back whatever pictures or data it can capture. Once the robot swims into the actual reactor, Hopes are that it will collect crucial data so specialists can remove more radioactive waste from the damaged plant. It'll be a tough journey for the little buddy. Previous remote-controlled robots sent inside the plant didn't make it. They got stuck in the reactors, had their motion functions failing or died because of radiation levels so high they would kill humans within seconds. Fingers crossed that little sunfish will be more lucky. He'll be sent into the reactor next month.